The mark in Jesus says to his followers, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into theocracy with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Let me ask you something. Jesus is talking figuratively, right? I don't know. Surely Jesus is not speaking to an American audience. He's not speaking to a board of theologians from the United States, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Northern Europe. Jesus is a Middle Eastern North African personality speaking to other Middle Eastern people. He is talking about people who disrupt the personal loyalty in the Jesus group of Galilean peasant folk or little ones. He's not talking about children, not talking about kids. He's talking about the faith that is the Godfather style loyalty of the lowliest, most rejected and marginalized people in his society that are loyal to Jesus. And according to Jesus, the people who disrupt the loyalty of such lowly people, such little ones, deserve capital punishment. American theologians love to interpret passages like Mark chapter 9 verse 38 to 48 figuratively and not literally. But consider the punishments dealt out to convicted criminals in many Middle Eastern countries. Theocracy is a big idea over in the Middle East. Of course, Jesus was nonviolent, but he did expect a theocracy any day to happen. It was an essential part of his gospel, all about the kingdom of God. What do you think that means? That, that's, that's Paul's main message. This Jesus is the Messiah whom you crucified was raised by God, meaning God approved everything that this fellow did, declared him Messiah and cosmic Lord soon to return to inaugurate theocracy. Well, we got theocracy in Iran, we have theocracy in most Muslim countries where the Quran is the constitution, but that's the message. I don't know how, Paul would be baffled. I don't know what he would do today. This is a different, this is a different situation. And perhaps that's the challenge that we face. What, what is, how, how are we supposed to sell it? Yeah. Hands and feet are a body zone that symbolize purposeful activity. The Mark in Jesus says that if someone's purposeful activity, his hands or feet, causes someone else in the Jesus group to stumble during tests of loyalty, they need to cease that behavior immediately. In the ancient Israelite way of thinking, eyes are connected to the heart, the body zone of emotion-fused thought and reflective consideration to take proper action. Eyes, heart. The eyes inform the heart. But Jesus says if the eyes become unreliable during tests of loyalty, serious action needs to be taken to prevent the damage. So according to Jesus in this passage, when theocracy comes, when God's sky vault man, any day now, his avenger comes to establish theocracy, people in the Jesus group who refuse to do this, who refuse to get with the program, will be thrown into Jerusalem's city dump like forgotten Gentile dogs.